So, how's the logo redesign coming? Not that great. Uh, making sense of Elisa's design notes is difficult. It needs to be visceral and frightening, but subtle and blue. Mm -hmm. You know that sound that lions make when they mate? Yes. I need the logo to mm -hmm. feel like that. Write that down. Writing it down. Flames. Off to the side, you know. I understand you. But hey, the new traffic metrics come out today. You must feel pretty good about your chances. And really, no hard feelings. Okay, you'll win. Elise will fire me. And I'll go back to my old job, the actual Tupac Shakur. Bartender. Bartender, yes, that's right. Well, that's actually what I wanted to talk to you about. Remember that idea you had about helping users create more attractive profile pictures? Mm -hmm. I wrote it up as a tutorial that struggling users can access for a little extra. That way we can work with people who actually want our help. Oh, okay. It was a good idea. And it was your idea. And if both our plans are running at the same time and the site does well, Elise won't know who to reward. Or fire. So we can both keep our jobs? I even made it look like you created the tutorial. I did it with hacking. Well, you didn't do it with hacking. I used your workstation while you were away. Like a hacksmith. Wow. Thanks, Bob. Yeah. I like having you around. Oh, and I have one more surprise for you. Did you get it? <laughs> nice. Now I want you to make me a cake that looks exactly like that. Chill. Ugh, I gotta go. An eight and a four just walked in. Lates. Oh, which one is- Max is at least a five, you turd. Two questions. Why'd y'all invite me here? And can I leave right now? Don't worry, we won't take up too much of your time, Rush. I'm sure you're in a- you. <laughs> Better not. At 2.30, I'm gonna jet. And I mean, I'm literally going to fly in a jet to referee a hot dog eating contest between them giant tennis sisters. Richard Branson bet me a cool G-spot that Serena owns. And that's a sucker's bet! <sighs> this is gonna feel really good. What is? Y'all two gonna get it on in front of me? I'm legally allowed to film it because you invited me here. The new com score numbers came in, and we've got a pretty good feeling that Find Love, our little mom and pop bullshit site, is going to crush Kindlin. Mm, and you're here, so that we can see your face when you lose. And because Josie's gloating really does play better in person. There's a victory dance involved, so I hope you're prepared to see these shoulders go flying. Oh, ooh, I am not. Who dances like that? The best winners. Hit it, Blake. Blake, hit it. And the number one digital dating service in America is... Oh, uh, EGB Media Incorporated. It's the uh, parent company that owns us. Yes! Then just say us from the beginning. God, how do you ruin good news? Uh, all of us. The same company that owns Fine Love also owns Kindlin. It's all one thing. What? This is unbelievable. So we're pwned by the same company? Yeah, for like immediately. Ever since Kindlin existed, we were sister companies. Yeah, bro codes. Oh, Cisco's. You're the CEO. Why didn't you know this? What am I, some book guy? <laughs> some guy who does books? I am the face of the company. I got hired to make other companies look dumb and to run around with celebrities while wearing a Kindlin t-shirt to project the image of success to our investors. A duh I could give a shit about behind the scenes. And what was the point of all this? Why would two subsidiaries of the same company be forced to compete? That's idiotic. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Did someone say visionary? <sighs> I know no one did. That was just the word I wanted to dramatically enter on. Dolores! Or whatever, I never actually bothered learning your name. You just saved in my phone as dead ass for two Z. You knew we were owned by the same company. Certainly. Did I forget to mention that to you, dime store goombas? So you pitted Find Love against Kindlin and Max and I against each other? Competition inspires hard work. You made us think our jobs were on the line. Even harder work. You said Rush was going to turn this place into a Hooters-like restaurant called Oops All Butts. This is your future. Butt-themed martinis, a butt-shaped mascot. Note there are two S's in mascot. Literal ass hats that all of the waitresses have to wear during happy hour when we serve ass-hole-lapeno poppers. Oh, yes. That was just, um, how do the kids call it? 
Simple japery. Dope idea. Make sure you replace those S's with Z. If you would have just told us from the start that we were both properties of the same company, we could have collaborated and come up with some strategic cross-promotional initiatives to get the best of both worlds. How is that a worse strategy than having us compete over the same dating pool? You made me fight with Max. I was going to go on a date with Rush. I had this whole ridiculous plan to try and figure out his secrets. What a past. I'm super gay. Putting a pin in that. Why would you make us do this? For starters, Maxine has never been more productive. Another reason this plan sucks. Further, subscriptions to both sites are up 15% just in the brief amount of time since I started this little comic subterfuge. This was dumb. It was motivating and pure and not without majestic precedent. In the animal kingdom, this won't be true. Shark mothers will often release a scarce amount of their blood loose into the water to inspire competition amongst her shark babies. She watches them feed, watches them both grow stronger. Just the one that gets the blood. Right? Wouldn't you have one shark that gets stronger and the other one's just like... A toast to me for sharksmanship. And of course I'll expect all of you to sustain this rate of growth now that I know you're capable of delivering. <laughs> Welcome to Shark Law. And you, you there, boy, add a third Z to my name in your phone. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Now, if you'll all excuse me, I've left my naked husband handcuffed and upside down in an abandoned civil war prison. It's our anniversary. Sex with me is terrifying. Gay. Enjoy your weekend, my gullible little gutter snipes. Uh, gay? Hell yeah, I'm gay as fuck. You hit on me when we met. That as? Proximity, ma'am. I am the CEO of a major disruptive 2.0 fuck app. I gots to keep up appearances, branding, you feel me? And cause seriously, it's still very difficult being openly gay in a position of power, even in this seemingly progressive political climate. Gay rights is without a question one of the defining issues of our generation. We're working hard to educate. Change begins at home. Ooh, have you guys joined Equality California yet? <laughs> yeah, today is better than tomorrow. Blah, 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 please. People have been exiting this room very strangely. This whole fucking thing. There isn't even a lesson in any of it. Yeah. Hey, I'm glad we get to be friends again, though. Ugh, lame. Me too. Hey, do you want to go hiking? Nope! You want to get drunk and send the police to whatever civil war dungeon Elise and her husband are having nightmarish sex in? Mmm, big yes. Thank you for watching rom.com. Make sure that you subscribe somewhere. Yeah, and in the comments below, tell us some more things that the Oops All Butts themed restaurant can serve. Other oh, yeah, that's butt a things. Great idea. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this was the last episode in this brief season. We've got four more coming in a couple of months, so subscribe and, and see them when they come out. Thanks. Are we out of frame? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs>